हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ किरण टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द टॉपिक दैट इज ऑन इमेटिक्स एंड एंटीमेटिक्स नॉजे एंड वॉमिटिंग आर द प्रोटेक्टिव रिफ्लेक्सेज दैट हेल्प टू रिमूव द टॉक्सिक सब्सट्रांस फ्रॉम द जी आई टी दे आर द सिम्टम्स ऑफ अल्टर्ड फंक्शन बट नॉट द डिजीजेस नॉजे डी नॉट द फीलिंग ऑफ इम्पेडिंग वॉमिटिंग वेयर एज वेयर एज वॉमिटिंग रेफर्स टू द फोर्सफुल एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ द कंटेंट ऑफ द स्टमक एंड अपर इंटरस्टेशनल ट्रैक थ्रू द माउथ बेसिकली नॉजे एंड वॉमिटिंग आर द प्रोटेक्टिव रिफ्लेक्सिस वन एनी पर्सन इन जस्ट द टॉक्सिक सब्सटांसिस विच हेल्प्स टू रिमूव द फ्रॉम द स्टमक फर्स्ट इज इमेटिक्स ड्रग that produce or induce vomiting or the called the emetics emetics are the drugs which are used to induce the vomiting and are generally used in the case of uh, poisoning vomiting is the forceful expulsion of the content of the stomach via mouth or something nose vomiting reflex is stimulated by two centers in the medulla first is vomiting center and second is a ctz that is a chemo receptor trigger zone basically emetic drug shows its action either by the stimulated ctz that is a chemo receptor trigger zone or by the irritating the gastric mucosa how ctz is stimulated tactile stimulation of the back of the thought a uh, reflex to get rid of the something that is too big or too irritating to be swallowed excessive uh, stomach distension increase intracranial pressure by the direct stimulation stimulation of the vestibular receptor in the ear intense pain fiber stimulation and direct stimulation by the various chemical including the fumes certain drugs and turbis from the saliva that now classification of emetics basically there are three main classification first is a stimulants of ctz that is a chemo receptor trigger zone Uh, the drugs comes under apomorphine and morphine second is the irritants of gastric mucosa in this drugs comes are mustard seeds and sodium chloride third is the both ctz stimulants and irritant irritant effect first is apicacuna and digitals mode of action of emetics they basically they stimulate the ctz the chemo receptor trigger zone and gastric mucosa to induce the vomiting first is the apomorphine apomorphine basically acting like a uh, centrally acting and it is obtained by treating morphine with hcl produce vomiting in 5 to 10 minute after the administration dose 2 to 4 mg root subcutaneously or im oral use of apomorphine is not recommended because the emetic dose is larger slow to act and rather inconsistency in action apomorphine is a derivation of the morphine and it helps to produce a vomiting within 5 to 10 minute because it acts by the stimulating the ctz next is the mustard we all know what is a mustard it is a basically a mustard seeds which is used in the kitchen it is a household remedy to induce the vomiting dose one tablespoon of spoon with water safe with easily available basically mustard seeds uh, is uh, is is produce irritation in the stomach and which helps to induce the vomiting 
Third is the Apicacuna. It is obtained from the dried rhizomes and roots of Cephalus apiguna. It is basically it is a grass commonly available as a syrup. Dose is 15 to 30 ml in adult, 15 to 10 to 15 ml in children, and 5, 5 ml in infants. Induce vomiting within the 15 minutes after the administration of this syrup. It acts by the irritating the gastric mucosa as well as through the CTZ that is a chemoreceptor trigger zone. Next is the contraindication of emetics. Basically it is not given in the poisoning cases because the risk of perforation and the more injury of the esophageal mucosa. C and stimulant drug poisoning conversions may be precipitated. In the case of petroleum poisoning, chance of aspiration of the liquid due to a very low viscosity of the petroleum and chemical pneumonia, chances of chemical pneumonia is very high. In unconscious patient may be aspirate the vom vomiting substance because the laryngeal reflexes is likely to be impaired. Morphine and uh, phenothiazine poisoning emetics are very effective. Ineffective, sorry. Next is the indications of emetics to induce the vomiting and overdose the treatment of any drug. Adverse effect arrhythmias, diarrhea, drowsiness. Drug interaction emetic reduce their effect when used with active charcoal basically active charcoal is the basic treatment of the poisoning when uh, base when the active charcoal is uh, used during any poisoning cases and then emetics are not given to the patient next is the nursing responsibilities of emetics assess the conscious level of the patient before the administration of the drug Obtain history to find out the causes of poisoning in digested substances and to determine the possible antidote. Gastric lavage is necessary if second dose does not produce vomiting. Next is the antiemetics. Antiemetics are the drugs that prevent from the vomiting. Antimatics are the drugs which are used to prevent or relieve from nausea and vomiting. An emetics is a drug that is effective against the nausea and vomiting. Antimatics are sometimes necessary to suppress the nausea and vomiting, and in severe cases where dehydration develops, intravenous fluid may be needed to administer to replace the fluid volume. Next is the classification of the antiemetics. First is the prokinetics. In prokinetics, drugs comes metachloropamide and domperidone. Second is a 5-HT3 antagonist. The drugs come on the citron and tro tropestron. Antimuscarin, hyoscine, neuroleptics, chloropramosine, and haloperidol. And other agent that is in uh, other in other agent that is a uh, sip. Cisra right. First is a prokinetics. These drugs which promote the gastrointestinal mortality and quicken gastric amputation. Prokinetics are the drugs which promote the gastrointestinal mortality and quicken gastric amputation. First drugs, uh, the first drug comes in uh, prokinetic that is a metachloropamide. Basically, a metachloropamide acts as a both. It has a both effect that is a central and peripheral effect. Central effect blocks the uh, do, uh, dopaminergic receptors. In peripheral, increase a gastric impact, uh, in, increase gastric amputation. Dose 5 to 10 mg. 
available in the tablet injection and syrup form indication is post of vomiting vomiting due to induction of anesthesia side effect restlessness drowsiness dizziness and or distort dystonic reaction metachloropamide blocks the dopamine d2 receptor it increases the tone of lower esophagus splinter and promote the gastric appetite the doses is doses are in the form of iv 1 to 2 mg per kg 30 minutes before the chemotherapy repeat every 2 hr or two doses then every 3 hrs for three doses i am 10 to 20 mg near end of surgery next is a dome peridon action block the dopaminergic receptors in the upper git dose 10 mg 30 mg tablet 1 mg per ml syrup it acts like a metachloropamide with very less side effect but it does it is does not cross the bbp so mostly we are uh, mostly in pregnancy uh, doctors uh, give doctors prescribe the domperidone medicine it is a very basically drug which helps to uh, which which helps to prevent the vomiting and nausea in pregnancy side effect headache dizziness dry mouth nervousness flushing or irritability the users the users doses is 10 mg orally 3 to 4 times a day 15 to 30 minutes before the meal and at bed time if required in severe or resistance cases the dose may be increased to the maximum of 20 mg to 3 to 4 times a day next is the 5 ht3 antagonist 5 ht3 and the receptor antagonists block the vomiting reflexes by inhibiting the 5h3 receptors in the vomiting centers the chemoreceptor trigger zone in the small intestine basically in 5h3 antagonist released in the gut is an important transmitter of mcs that is the vomiting first drug comes under the 5h3 antagonist is ondestron ondestron the block the 5h3 receptors in the gi tract and ctz and prevents the vomiting it is a powerful antiemetic and can be given orally and iv that is on the doses is 4 to 8 mg in mass mass is like a vomiting 8 mg bd if person is have a uh, and a feeling of nausea and the vomiting that the drug dose given is 8 mg the bd it is also useful in the post operative vomiting and other drugs induce the vomiting it is specially useful to control the vomiting induced by the anti cancer drugs and the radio therapy basically uh, ondestron blocks the 5h3 receptors and prevents from the vomiting it is a very powerful antiemetically which, which is given by the orally or the intravenously how the how the 5h3 antagonist is the working anti cancer drugs or uh, radiotherapy it 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 uh they 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 do the tissue damages and they release the serotonin that is the 5 ht ht and from the enterocorfin cells from the internal mucosal mucosa stimulate the vaginal gut uh, through the 5 ht antagonist receptors when the when we when the doctor prescribe the 5 ht antagonist and the person take it and it blocks the impulses to the ctz and the brain and which helps to induce uh, induce which help to to inhibit the vomiting and the effect of vomiting is very less per oral 8 mg 30 minutes before the chemotherapy repeated 8 hourly after the first dose followed by 8 mg every 12 hr for 1 to 2 days after the completion of therapy IV zero point fifteen mg per kg over fifteen is given thirty minutes before the chemotherapy repeated four to eight 
hours after first dose or one dose of 32 mg over 15 minutes given 30 minutes before the chemotherapy IV 4 mg over 2 to 5 minutes one dose side effect headache constipation and dizziness are the most commonly reported side effect associated with its uses next drugs is the anti-muscarins completely inhibition inhibit the action of acetylcholine at the muscarin receptors the drugs come under is hyoscine the drug is very effective in the motion sickness. Motion sickness or traveling sickness is due to the overstimulation of the vestibular operators along with the psychological environment factor taken 30 minutes before the journey. Dose is 0.4 to 0.6 mg oral X for 6 hours after the journey is long. The person may repeat this drug again. It is a labyrinthine stative. Labyrinthine stative means it is a irregular sedation. Next is a neuroleptics. They act as a suppressing in the CTZ that is a chemotherapy trigger zone. So they are antagonists antagonize the vomiting and produce of drug by drugs which stimulate the CTZ. Acts by blocking and the dopamine receptors in CTZ. Less effective in motion sickness, they have the broad spectrum of antimatic actions in drug induced post anesthesia, included nausea and the vomiting. Diseases include vomiting, uh, GI, GI disorders like that, they're in the inflammation of the GI tract, and the liver disorders, uh, diseases. In this, the, the chances of the nausea and vomiting is more high, and uh, the drug is given that is the neuroleptics. In neuroleptics, the drugs comes are the chlor uh, chloropromazine. The, the dose is 10 to 25 mg every 4 to 6 hours. IVIM is 25 to 50 mg every 4 to 6 hours. Prochloropromazine 5 to 10 mg 3 to 4 times a day. Next is the indication of the anti emetic drugs, nausea and the vomiting associated with the electroshock therapy, anesthesia and the surgery, motion sickness, vertigo, gastric mortality disorders, nausea and vomiting in pregnancy, radiation therapy and post-operative sickness. Contraindication, hypersensitivity and domperidone contraindicated in pregnancy. The role of nurse assess the possible contraindication of the cause and history of the allergy to atymati to wider potential hypersensitivity reaction, impaired renal and haptic function. In uh, assess the patient neurological status, including the level of orientation, effect, and reflexes. Assess complaints of nausea and evaluate the MSs. Note the color, amount, and frequency of vomiting episodes. Instruct the client to avoid over-the-counter preparation. Instruct the client not to consume alcohol while taking antimatics. Advise pregnant women to avoid antimatics during the first trimester. Summarization. Today we, today we have discussed about dimatics and antimatics and its mechanism of action, classifications, indications, contraindications, adverse effects and nursing responsibilities so assignment topic write down the classification of antimatics and ematics second topic is write down the role of nurse during the administration of ematics and antimatics drugs bibliography you can refer the sharma kish suresh textbook of pharmacology and uh, online you can refer these books for the further information thank you